there looking for the babies. Remember the baby? Oh, you guys were asleep. Oh man, nice. Hey you guys, what's up? We're back at other, our other little camp adventure spot. I'm here. So on the on the way in, the boys were the boys were sleeping, and so uh, as we were as we were crawling down the dirt road, I was taking my time nice and slow, and two fawns jumped out of the tall grass where the sun was beating down, and they jumped across the road. I tried to get them on camera, but you couldn't really see them. But yeah, it was it was pretty cool. So these these must be their their mamas over here coming to pick them back up out of the sunlight. Probably bring them down here to this creek where we're heading now uh, to get a drink at some point. So as long as we're not uh, too wild, we might have some visitors to our campsite tonight. See if you remember. Ready? One, two, three. Uh. Good job, bud. Here we are once again at our nice little campsite right here. Uh, I think we're gonna change things up a little bit this time. Uh, yeah, let's quick set up our our campsite. Uh, no weather, should be nice and warm. It's Africa hot right now, man. Like for real, for real. It's in the mid 90s and all that stuff, but it's nice and cool out here. Bro, yeah, me too. I was sweating, but you know what? It's all good right here. We got the stream to cool off in, and uh, and we got a nice little little situation here where we're shady mostly. So, so yeah, let's do this thing, y'all. Another adventure. Woo! Here we go. Okay, let's explore. Let's explore. Let's I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna have to move some rocks. So then, work can come down way better. Not good. My first try. This is looking very well tonight. It might. We'll go have visitors soon. All right, y'all. Wow. So what we have here is my paracord. It's tied across all the way. And I just have the extra stuff coiled up. I'm gonna use that in a minute to hang my bag and all that stuff up over there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to t how to make a knot here using this right here and these pieces of wood right here just cut them they're about as big around as my finger preferably a piece of like freshly fallen green wood that way it doesn't snap easily uh, and I'm gonna use it to hold up my tarp so I don't have to again cut uh, cut my wire here so so here you go let me show you all this real quick here Jamers can you hold this for me buddy Extend it all the way. I can hold it. Hold, okay, buddy, I'll have you hold it for me next time, okay? Because I already asked brother to hold it this time. Okay, now make sure that you can hold it up nice and high 
so that you can see what I'm doing on this string right here. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this string right here and I'm gonna coil it around on itself like this. Take the end, coil it around. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it again, but make sure that this loop is always on the inside right here and make sure that these loops on the side are not getting crossed so we'll go through again everything is good nothing's crossed go through one more time here everything is good again you can see nothing is crossed here let me show you all okay so as you can see the loop goes around nothing is crossed everything's nice real good here what we're going to do is we're going to pull this but see how this end right here is wanting to come over we need to keep it on the outside Okay, now what this is, is this is something that we can tie off to, okay, and you can pull side to side on this knot, and it doesn't slide down your string. So this is perfect for connecting our tarp here. Here you go, buddy. So you just pull it like this. Slide it over. Okay. I'm going to take this end right here. Take this end. Slide it through this hole. Slide it through this hole. And now this right here will hold it nice and tight. And we'll do the same thing for this side. So here it is. Easy peasy. Bada bing, bada boom. And then if you want to adjust it, see that? You slide it and it'll adjust even if you pull it nice and tight. It stays nice and tight. I'm going to have to look that up to let you know what that knot is called. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I saw it online. YouTube video. Bada bang, bro. Informative. <laughs> Shoo wee. All right, y'all. It is hot. Hot, hot, hot. But I'll tell you what. It's not too bad. We got a nice breeze going. Let me show you what we did here with our, with our uh, setup here. So we have our ridge line coming across here. I'm going to get, I've got little carabiner like S hooks or something. I'm just going to do the middle right there. Just so it kind of st helps stay in the center there. And then we got our backdrop here. I have this right here secured in each one of the corners here and then uh, I just did a if you can tell right here that's just a, a stick basically just something to help keep tension keep it vertical and then I tied the stick off uh, to a uh, to a ground uh, stake right here so we got a stick to a stake and then tarp right here all set up now we're gonna set up the hammocks bada boing mine first yeah we're gonna set them both up at the same time i'm gonna show you all a cool trick all right y'all check it out all right so we got our pack hanging up here all this is is a stick looped around into the knot that i had here hanging anyways and this right here 
Look. the hammock set up. I got this Check this hat out. Is. So. I got this also hat set. Yep, that's for the hatchet. It's yeah. to protect you, to keep you from cutting yourself when you're holding it. So what I have here is a setup to separate and turn this into a space big enough for two hammocks. Bada bing, bada boom. It hangs down a little bit when there's only one person in there, as you can see. But as soon as we put the other kid in there, it's going to level out a little bit. It'll wiggle a little bit as they're moving in the middle of the night, but not anything that's going to keep them awake or anything like that. So, bada bing, sweet setup. Bing. Now we're all good. Dad, bada bing. You might have needed to put these up a bit higher. So then, because look how low I am off of the ground. Yeah, well, they say you should never put your hammock any higher than you're comfortable falling to the ground. So low is okay. Now, like I just said, once your brother gets in here, the balance on this right here is going to turn and be a little bit more even. So you're both going to be up off the ground a little bit more. Would it be okay if you get in it? No. If I got in it, you would launch, I don't know, further than... I don't even know. Further, you'd be out probably like with the Voyager spacecraft. I'm bare feet. Bare feet? What are you doing with the bare feet? What are you doing with bare I'm not here. All right, y'all. Seeing if James can start this fire here. Yeah, he can. I think he can too. Do it hollow, Bubba. All right, turn it over. You're using the wrong side. There you go. No use. That. See, see that right there? Feel it. That's what you need to use. So it's right here? Yep. No, turn it over. You just had it. Stop. You just had it the right way and then you turned it. There. Like this. There you go. Try and get it closer. Get it closer. There you go. Yes. Oh yeah, dude. You Started did it. it finally. All right, put the other put them sticks on there. Keep going. You got to act quickly. Can I, can I Hold on, let brother do it. Let brother do it. Let me have. Hey. There you go. Thank you. It's smoking out as a bottom. Yep. All right, you made a classic mistake here. You smothered your fire right away. Hold on, it's not going to light like that. Like this? Yep. No, turn it over. No, turn the... the yep. Oh, look, 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 look. 
Look, it caught again. That's that burn knot that was in there. There was a little bit of that burn knot in there. Now gently like this. Very, very gently put this on here. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Okay, stop, stop. Just let it go for a second here. Let it catch these other sticks. All right, that's where this stuff right here is going to come in handy. So what you're seeing right here that's still burning is that's the burn knot, the sap that we collected from a previous walk. And you can see it's burning hot now. It's it's taking off real good, and it's gonna it's gonna do well to start this fire up. I don't think we're gonna need anything else here. We'll throw a few more sticks on here and let it do its thing. Whew. All right, y'all. So, new addition to the campsite here. Uh, we got the boys here. They're getting their their hot dog on. Yeah. And me. And you. I love you. <laughs> then we got James over there fixing up his dog. We got this right here. Nice little addition. Yeah, hot dog man. Hot dog man. What I did was I uh, took a couple of, uh, of uh, long standing trees that were dead. Um, or very near dead, you know, ones that, that weren't going to really do very well. So I went ahead and trimmed out a little bit of the underbrush uh, over here. And I made this tripod. So I just bound it at the top uh, with this paracord. And then attached this right here. So now whenever we come out, uh, all we have to do is take our pot that I have over here. Right here, bada bang, bada boom, and I'll show you all later when we make some hot chocolate. Uh, but you're just gonna attach it to another piece of this paracord here that Whoa, I've got. I got the fox. I'm gonna cut you, saw fox. Yeah. Where is it? Where? By that tree branch. By that tree branch. Well, buddy, I doubt that we would see a fox right now out here, but it is possible. No, I don't. out here in the wild i don't know yeah maybe if we if we see the fox if we see the fox out here buddy then yeah we'll definitely uh we'll definitely put them on on camera that's for sure but yeah. we'll see i don't know we already saw a couple deer and some fawns james said there's a bunch of of really small little minnows and stuff like that crawdads and things like that salamanders over in this little creek so yeah but this is us y'all just chilling yeah, Daddy brought bacon for breakfast. We're just chilling, munching on some dogs. Bada bang, bada boom. And we'll see you all soon. Yeah! Bye bye. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, y'all. We did it. Tripod all set up here. Bada bang, bada boom. Got my, uh, I got my drink. Got my, uh, my water here, ready to go. This is going to a handle that I created. This is this is a, a piece of a branch. And then what I did was I cut the bottom so that it had just the hook. And then I whittled around the top here so that I could have room to put that rope right there. Connects to the paracord and goes down, hangs. And we got a series of ties right here so we can adjust the height of this thing to put it closer to or further away from the fire depending on how big the fire is. Right? Pretty cool. So, bada bing bada boom. Now we have that ready to go for in the morning. Mmm. You are so good hot dogs. Yeah, dude. Hot dogs, dude. Mm. Hot dog! Hot dog! Hot dog!
hot dog. <laughs> hot dog. Hot dog. Campfire staple for years. Hot dog man. <laughs> so it's still pretty darn hot, but yeah, it did cool off some, which is nice. And we're still by the stream, so we can still go splash around. So, but yeah, this is us, man. We got our we got our uh, hammock area set up here, which I mean, you can't even see. It's so dark out. Hi. Hi. What's up, handsome dude? I don't hit cray button. Hit the cray button. Daddy. Yeah. What's up, bud? Yeah, definitely, bro. If you're ready for marshmallows. Yeah, I got a marshmallow I'm here. And I want you to please get the stuff ready so then when I'm done. You can put it right on a s'more, yeah. you mean? Nice, bro. I like it. Let's do it. Thank you. Jeez. You really done a hole in that. All right, let's see it, bud. Hold on, hold on, and I'll help you. Give me one minute, bud. There it is. Cold and crispy. Go oh my good. Go oh my real good. Oh. Yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. So uh, we made it through the night. Nice. <laughs> we, uh, I got the boys, boys squared away in their hammocks. where I slept on the ground right there because that right there that's not a hammock when I packed the bags up to come out here 
I grabbed what I thought were three hammocks, um, but one of them actually turned out to be a beach blanket. Uh, so, so yeah, so I don't have, uh, I didn't have three hammocks last night, one for each of us. There's a deer walking right over there. You guys are not going to be able to see it. It's on the other side of a thicket, and I can just make out its silhouette, but it is very cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, so last night when we got everything all set up, uh, we didn't have a hammock for Everett, uh, which is all good because he doesn't normally sleep very well in a hammock. Um, he's, he's not one to like wear covers to bed or, um, you know, any, any, like he doesn't want you all up on him. Uh, you know, so, so he needs room. So, uh, he normally doesn't do very well in a hammock. Um, and last night was no exception. I was, uh, I slept on the ground over here next and you can see I lowered that hammock way, 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 way down so that I could be right next to Evie. My butt <laughs> was actually on touching the ground <laughs> last night in that hammock. And then in the middle of the night, Everett, um, Everett was fussing and all that stuff because he was laying right there next. And then he started fussing, so I put him in the hammock and I went and laid on the ground and everything. Ugh, it just was, it was a long night. I think I probably got about, um, I don't know, maybe like two hours of sleep, something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, just between, uh, you know, Evie being on the ground next to me, I wasn't able to really sleep that well. Um, you know, and then when he woke up and started fussing, you know, I, I put him in the hammock and then I went around and I actually picked up a little bit more firewood and stuff so I could stoke the fire up last night. Uh, yeah, it just was, just was a warm night and, uh, and I just was enjoying the moon shining through, uh, through all the branches and everything. It was really good. It's a little bit too, uh, too much in the way of, uh, canopy here for me to set up the time lapse again uh, to try and get some of the shots of of the moon shining but man it was bright it was bright in here last night shining right through uh shining right through the canopy and everything like that it was really cool we could hear deer walking around around us and stuff like that it's nice too because where we're at we don't really have to worry about bears or like coyotes or anything like that even even stuff like raccoons and things like that a lot of a lot of that stuff that would be in this area really is 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 getting hunted and uh, and trapped out of here you know so a lot of the raccoons and stuff like that stuff that would normally come and get at your your campsite you know is is just not around here to do it there's no bears or anything like that in this in this immediate area um you know, there could be a stray one that comes up from over the mountain here, but, you know, chances are they're going to stay on the north side of the mountain. But, but yeah, so this is us, man. We got the boys here. Finish up some, some much needed rest. They, they need that rest. So I'm going to let them sleep as long as they want to. But I got the fire going as any good parental unit should do when they're taking their kids camping. Have the fire ready for them by the time they wake up. So bada bing, bada check, done. Coffee, that's for me. Coffee's going next. So uh, so yeah, and then after a little bit, I'm gonna start some breakfast and all that stuff for the boys. We made some stuff. Uh, we're gonna do some some pancakes out here over the fire and and all that, and have some good campfire fiddles. Maybe we'll walk up to the uh, to the chicken coop up here and, and collect a couple of fresh eggs too. Uh, it's not a far walk back up to uh, my buddy's property here. Maybe we'll grab a couple, couple fresh eggs, bada bang, to have with breakfast. So, <laughs> see you guys. All right, y'all. Coffee is all done. Until it's bubbling nice and dark here. Time to pull it down. So I'm just gonna take this loop that I tied off bada bang bada bum I'm gonna set this down on the flat rock and then when I let this down that hook just comes free right that's pretty awesome 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it right here on the lowest setting. Or excuse me, the highest setting, I guess. Just to make sure that we're keeping everything up and off the heat. Here, let me turn this. Ouch. Turn this handle away from away from the fire there. Let the coffee cool down, keep warm by the fire here. Let the fire coals go down a little bit. Then be time to make some breakfast. Bada bing. Let's go, Dad. Hi. Good morning. Pick up this. What's up? First, we got a, we got a sleeping tent and I'm going to sleep in him. Oh yeah. cut I'm gonna come over I don't know probably about five foot something like that that should make a nice bench mosquito <laughs> mosquito love you buddy you ready to take a turn on this thing all right, here we go. Put it right down in that slot. Right there. There you go. There you go. Nice, dude. Nice, bro. What do you think, bud? Good. <laughs> Good. Nice. Yeah. Let's show them what we did. Bada bing. There's the bench. We'll cut that in half, turn it into the piece. There's a bench, and look at that. All separate. Here we go. Hey, Almost Dad. done. Hey, Dad. Yeah, buddy. Can I talk this out? Hold on, let me get a little bit closer, then you can finish it. You think it's ready? Oh, nice job, bud. <laughs> that looks really that looks really cool. You look pretty cool. Be careful, dude. All right. Whew. Oh. Oh. Whew. Leg, leg, seat. Yeah. Fourth. Welcome to right. Camp Silent. Abby. Come on, I need that. Bum 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 bum
all before 7 a.m. <laughs> before coffee and before breakfast. So uh, I think it's time for a timeout. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. I'm recording my my breakfast stuff. This yeah. is this is that food porn. Food porn. Yep. Mom, when I kiss a mom. <laughs> this is actually pancake batter. Hold on, no, please. Wait, hold on. Hi. How's this food? Look at my fat booty butt. You're a dork. My butt. Oh my gosh. My butt is so okay. I'm blessed. Ow! So awesome. Mm. Farm fresh eggies. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. Bacon, eggs, and pancakes over the campfire. Let's do this. Oh, no, Bon. everybody we are wrapped up here we had another fabulous Ooh, trip good. that's a good joke <laughs> putting on yeah putting on. so uh so we're gonna go ahead and pack up our stuff get ready to head out break camp here i already took the hammocks down and everything blah 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in for another adventure with Big Al's Boys in the Wild. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to click the uh, subscribe button, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, then you guys can follow us on the rest of our adventures. All right, guys. See you next time.